My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I'm viewing Tom Ford Bleu de Jour, which I've totally messed up. Oh, I was practicing it in my head. Never mind. A bit embarrassing, really. This is in, I know it was in the uh, private blend and it got reformulated. So I do know that, but I've got this one. This is 89 pounds for 50 mil. It says it's classic, sharp, maverick. <gasps> I hope not. Earthy and woody, citrus and woods. The keynotes are lavender, geranium and moss. What does that mean to you? Lavender, geranium and moss. Hmm, I kind of think heavy duty, Chepre fragrance. Yeah, that's kind of what I think. Anyway, lavender pulses. Oh dear with clean commanding power as floral green geranium creates a powerful contrast to the leather-like oak moss. The sensual musky warmth of the patchouli and amber furthers elevates the masculine integrity. Amazing. Do we have our bottles of Bleu de Jour? Are we engaged with the high stuff? Let's get testing. Herbaceous, strong, masculine, definitely, definitely patchouli based. I bet this sells better in America than the UK. I absolutely bet that uh, in America, uh, you guys, you love uh, patchouli, you love patchouli and woods. That's kind of what, what does really well there. Masculine, you smell the rosemary, oak moss, animalistic, masculine. This is undoubtedly masculine, to be honest with you snappy clean sweet the, the sweet dryness is the kumarin you can smell that so you apps oh my gosh you absolutely you would have to sweeten this in some way you'd have to sweeten and soften it patchouli and turpinous patchouli all that kind of stuff with rosemary all that stuff is sort of harsh and unpalatable and a good perfumer would soften and sweeten it so that it's like palatable the dry down's lovely. It reminds me of something. One thing I want to say, and this was, this was a thought I've got, and this was the elevation and sort of my thought process, which is I think modern perfumery is taking something that's loved and redeveloping it and putting it into a new thing. And I think that's what all good perfumery is, to be honest with you. I think, I would imagine that this sort of like core of it of the oak moss, the kumarim, the sort of the ambery woods, the patchouli, the sort of the sort of like uh, herbaceous notes would have been used somewhere else and something else and they would have redeveloped it. And I think that's absolutely fine because it's kind of like recycling, up recycling. And uh, I think it's exciting. And I think perfumery needs to move on. And the way to move on is through redevelopment. And I have absolutely no problem with that at all. I have a little problem with dupes, obviously, if I'm very honest with you, because perfumery you see is an art and you should, I see it as a bit as plagiarism, but redeveloping, upscaling, inspiration, I think is absolutely fine. And all art comes from that as well. The top notes, the, the lavender, I, I'm yet to use lavender. Lavender is kind of like gorgeous and this, this is like a really lovely Chepre fragrance. The barbershop fragrance, I think we're gonna call this. I think it all sort of works together. The dry down is gorgeous. It reminds me of, it may, it reminds me slightly of Kuros, not exactly the same, but it kind of, that sort of heavy patchouli, uh, dense thing, masculine smelling. I think it's the animal notes in it. It's what it's kind of reminded me of, to be honest with you. The dry down is lovely. I know in the private blend it would have been monstrously stronger and I know it's sort of been redeveloped to put into this little price, this little bottle. I think that's all right. On to my final thoughts. I think this is excellent. I think this is excellent perfumery, masterful perfumery. I think it's perfumery done really, really well. I think that the base of the sort of animal ambers, the harsh woods, the softness through the core, the soft, sweet core of the uh, sort of the Lily of the Valley raw materials, the Kumara, and you have to have that as the base, the oak moss like raw materials, and then the naturals, which is the sort of the lavender, the harsh patchouli, geranium, and the uh, rosemary to give that punch. 
I think is excellent. So I think this is excellent technical perfumery. There would have been someone very, very skilled doing this. So I go through my marks. First two marks are safe, legal, compliant. Estee Lauder is a very, very professional company. They have a regulatory department, I know that. So uh, this absolutely has got everything in place. So this is a two out of two. The price, I think this is really worth the price. I think it's uh, excellent. I think it's, don't know what else to say for that, to be honest. Uh, longevity and projection. Drifting off a little bit now, I imagine in the black bottle, this would have been quite monstrous and it does feel a little bit flat now. But this is very, very good for longevity. But the projection's not too good for me. But I know on some people this is kind of going to be monstrous. Interesting thing, this is not musk heavy at all. And sometimes uh, musks in this would have made it smell like an 80s perfume. So possibly it's been updated. That's kind of what I think about it, to be perfectly honest with you. Do I like it? I wouldn't wear it at all. Um, not for me. Not my style of perfumery. It's a little bit too medicinal for my liking, but it's just not for me. I wouldn't gravitate to it, not my sort of thing, but I think it's excellent perfumery. So I'm gonna mark this seven out of 10. The one mark comes off is just because I think it's not particularly uh, projecting like crazy. It's not sort of, uh, I'm not gonna get anything long lasting from me. It's gonna be a nice skin scent after two hours. And the two marks coming off are purely because I don't like it, but I think it is awesome perfumery. I think it's excellent perfumery. Uh, it's kind of ticking all the boxes. So I think if you're looking for a barbershop fragrance, a really beautiful fougere fragrance, I kind of think this is for you. The price is also really good as well. My final, I'm going to give it an eight, 8 out of 10. Actually, I think it's awesome, to be honest with you. Really cool. So we love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. Hope you're staying safe and well, and I'll see you soon.